the hell is this? It's creepy. Hello, hello, my Android friends. Welcome to Friday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. And I'm lost. Did something happen this week in Android? I just swear I saw something. Well, I guess not. Hot Nerdy Girl episode. Whee! Okay, just kidding. I know. I kind of wanted to do a Hot Nerdy Girl episode. One day, one day. It'll happen. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you clicking in once again. If you're new to the Android show, it's just me talking out of my ass about Android, but hey, I'm doing that right now, so let's talk some Android. Yes, 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 yes. Jelly Bean has finally been unveiled to us, and it's oh so pretty. You know, I gotta admit, I wasn't super excited about Jelly Bean because I thought ICS just came out, it's awesome, it's still good. Why is Jelly Bean already coming out? It's only gonna be 4.1, it's probably not gonna be that much better, but guess what? It's Ah, jeez, it's better. I mean, I knew it would be better, I just was like, didn't think it was gonna be like that much better. But anyways, let's first talk about the Google Nexus tablet, the seven inch bad boy, that's made by Asus, Asus, okay? Keep getting crap about saying it wrong, and people say it like Asus, it's not Asus, it's Asus. The guy demonstrating it said it himself, Asus. So we got it now, we're good, we're done with that, I'm saying it right! Sorry, it's just a sore subject, there's a lot of people. Anyways, but yes, yeah, so the Google tablet was unveiled and showing all its seven inch glory. Of course, running Jelly Bean. And some of the features they went over, they just, I mean, it was basically a lot of Jelly Bean stuff, but I mean, it ran nicely when they were showing the games, when they were browsing, when they are going to the Play Store, all that fun stuff. Not to mention, it's a nice little sleek design. I mean, it's it's got some girth for being seven inches. That's usually my pickup line at a bar. I usually say four inches, what? But yes, yeah, so it has been confirmed that it is gonna be sold for $200 in the Play Store, so let me know down below in the balls area if you already uh, pre-ordered yours. How excited you are, and uh, order one for me, thanks. Seriously. All right, all right, let's take a look at good old Jelly Bean, you know, the candy that I cannot stand. First thing we're gonna talk about is Project Butter. It's like butter. Yes, Project Butter is basically what they have been working on since ICS, just to make the OS oh so smooth and buttery. You know when you rub butter on your nipples and it just feels, Am I alone on this one? Yes, yeah, so over at Google, they've been working hard on the... Did I just say hard on? Well, watching the demonstrations definitely gave me one. But yes, they've been working hard on just trying to make that OS buttery smooth, very much like iPhone smooth. And a lot of people on the Twitter feed and on Google Plus were saying that Jelly Bean is very much iOS smooth, which is all iOS had. They had nothing else but having a very smooth interface. And now we're slowly catching up, so up yours, Apple. That's just music to my earballs. Anyways, other little enhancements were the way you add widgets. I like this because you know I'm a widget head even though I'm trying to tone down my widget use. Going to meetings and stuff, it's hard. No, but I guess when you try to add a widget, it'll automatically resize the widget for you as well as rearrange your home screens when you try to add it. So no little message like, no more room on home screen. I'm not sure that message might pop up if there's way too much stuff, but it's pretty cool that it just moves stuff around. I'm glad to see that Android and Google are ripping off what developers have already done. Another enhancement is notifications. They're really trying to focus on notifications. And now when you do the little new style looking notification bar, you can expand your notifications by doing a little pinch to zoom gesture, ding, ding, you know, this thing. And you basically can expand your notifications to see more of what has just come in and it allows you to do a quick response, which is pretty freaking awesome. You gotta love that little naughty bar. The lock screen animation has changed slightly. It's still got the little honeycomb lock looking thing, but once you touch it, it turns into this little alien ball looking thing, which is pretty awesome, I like it. Transitions animations, I guess, are tweaked up a little bit too that people were telling me. You know, other than that, the color scheme has really not changed. I'm glad they're sticking with the blue and the black and the gray. I was worried they're gonna throw like orange, red. I mean, there's a little bit of tweaky color, but it's, it's all good. I'm glad, I'm happy. But yeah, I would have cried if they did. Google Now is a awesome feature that they have added to Jelly Bean, and I don't think anybody said that it looked crappy. I remember I was actually working during this thing, and I kept watching the Twitter feeds. People kept on saying, Google Now is awesome. Basically what Google Now is, it lets your phone get to know you. Getting to know you, getting to know you. Yes, for just recognizing what you search for and all that fun stuff, Google Now will start, you know, 
knowing what your interests are and they'll just have it there for you. Say you always take the same route to work, you can just basically hit the little, you, I think you like scroll up like the, uh, the home button or whatever, you hit it twice and it just brings up and you'll have your traffic report. And all kinds of stuff like just to help you out and it's art, it's just right there for you. It's freaking sweet. Kind of creepy but freaking sweet. But basically I think it's probably the best feature of Jelly Bean and you know soon we're just going to be able to have sex with our phones. Waiting for that day. Voice recognition feature has been approved to say F you, Surrey. My God, see how fast that thing is? Jeez, it just recognizes it. Boop, boop, boop. Wowie, wee, wow. I and mean, then, of course, some of it has to do with your Wi Fi connection or your data connection, but still, pretty freaking fast. Yeah, I mean, it's got lightning fast response, doesn't talk that much, and when it does talk, it's got a nice, clear voice. Kind of like the perfect woman, hey guys? And it also offers offline mode. So yeah, you can talk to your phone even when you're not connected to any kind of data connection. Awesome. <laughs> and S-Voice just came out on the Galaxy S3 and it's already been blown out of the water. But anyways, those are most of the features. Tell me what you thought was the best feature of Jelly Bean down below in the balls area. What gave you an Android boner? I'm very curious. All right, another thing that was unveiled that I really didn't hear anything about till it was unveiled. The Nexus Q. Did anybody else know about this? Because I sure as hell didn't. Basically what the Nexus Q is, is a media center that brings all your content, your video, your music, your pictures from your cloud, and then you can hook it up to your TV and watch movies and all that fun stuff just right there on your TV. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff, and it is freaking sexy. Good design, I and mean, it was made in America, so it's probably gonna break down. But yeah, you can watch YouTube videos, and if you like rent or buy a uh, movie from the Play Store, you'll be able to watch it right on your TV using the Nexus Q. It's pretty awesome stuff, and guess what? It's already been hacked. God, our developers are just the shizzle. Yes, it's already been hacked, so the possibilities are endless of what they're gonna do with the Nexus Q. Oh yeah, and by the way, everybody that attended Google I.O., I hate you. Jeez. If you guys didn't know, they all walked away with a free Nexus tablet, a free Galaxy Nexus, with Jelly Bean, I might add, and a free Nexus Q. <laughs> uh. I have cousins that live up there, too. I could have just did. It's just all bad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy that you guys are happy with your guys. Hope they all blow up in your face. All right, so now Jelly Bean is out, and you know, we're gonna have to wait for ROMs and all that fun stuff. So let's make your phone as much Jelly Bean as possible. First, of course, Jelly Bean wallpapers. Yes, the Jelly Bean wallpapers have been released, and you know, not a lot of them, you know, not really any of them caught my eye. They're kind of getting, yeah. Yeah, but it was a very popular post on our site, and a lot of you just, you know, I love these wallpapers, so if you want some Jelly Bean wallpapers, check down the links below in the balls area. Get some of that on your phone. Make your phone as much Jelly Bean as possible. Also, the Play Store was upgraded. Remember on last, uh, the last show on Tuesday, I talked about a possible overhaul of the Play Store to, you know, be more Jelly Bean-like. We saw a picture, but it turns out it's not really looking like that. Hopefully, it's not going to look like that. But yes, there's a slide upgrade. It looks exactly the same, the UI and everything like that, except they added uh, TV shows and magazines. But now you can have a subscription service of magazines on your device. That's freaking awesome. I love that. But uh, when is Playboy and Penthouse coming to it? Anyways, guys, we got the APK down below in the balls area. Click uh, the article and then uh, download it. It's pretty awesome. It runs nicely, smooth, fast, very responsive. All right, now, of course, we wonder when our phones are going to be getting Jelly Bean. Of course, not shortly after, you know, we just saw the demonstration of Jelly Bean. The GSM Galaxy Nexus version was leaked out, and people were flashing it on their phones, and happy as all it all can be. I actually wrote the article real quick, not, not letting people know that you have to be rude and all that stuff. Some people got a little mad at me. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was just trying to get it out there, you know. It's just, sorry, guys, you know. Just investigate a little more like you know you have to when it when we say flash you have to be rooted <laughs> it can't exactly flash if you're not rooted but anyways yeah the gsm version leaked out and then the system dump leaked out and developers went on a frenzy shortly after they got the verizon version going but it was really crappy and the radios didn't work like you couldn't even get 3g and then of course not getting lte but then shortly after that developers worked on that and now they got a fully working lte working all that fun stuff working rom for you verizon galaxy nexus users i have two friends that have already flashed it and they're just making me pissed off and then just to finish off the GNX family, the Sprint version got its own port. So yeah, if you got any of the Galaxy Nexus versions and you're rooted, check down the links below for whoever which one you have. Get it on your phone and just to let us know how creamy, buttery, delicious it is. So what phone is next? The HTC One S? No, the HTC One X. Ah! Yes, there has been a port to the HTC One X. 
Very unstable though, not a daily driver having the normal issues of Wi-Fi, audio, and camera. And it's only the international version, I don't think it's really working on the AT&T version, but you never know. So yeah, if you have an international HTC One X and you want to see how smooth it's going to be, check it out. Make sure you do an Android backup and just, you know, try it out, see what it's like, and then go back to your, uh, you know, regular stuff. But yeah, seriously, developers, hurry up on the HTC One S, huh? Huh? Yeah, you know? I'll love you forever. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much a lot that happened at Google Azure and Jelly Bean and all that fun stuff. It's been a pretty exciting last couple of days. I even didn't even talk about some things like uh, Chrome is going to be the default browser of Jelly Bean. Adobe announced that on August 15th they're going to stop updating Flash. They're not going to update it to 4.1. But it's okay because Chrome has HTML, you know, integrated into it, so it's going to be fine. We're going to, you know, we don't need Flash. Also, they showed off uh, Project Glass, the Google Glasses, you know, little skydiving thing. That was pretty awesome. They're going to be $1,500 pre-order. And the only people that got the pre-order was at Google AO, of course. And they're not going to be available to 2014. It's pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought was the best thing that happened in the past couple of days about Jelly Bean, about the Google Nexus tablet. I think my favorite thing was Jenny McCarthy's Playboy cover was released. Pushing 40 and she's hotter than ever. My God. Well, all right, guys, usually I answer questions around this time, but I didn't really have time with all the information that was going on so I apologize for not answering questions but if you do have a question leave it down below in the balls area in the comments area and I'll try to answer it my best on next week's show well I can't do a Friday show without doing a hot nerdy girl of the week even though I have so many information this show is probably going on forever I'm still gonna do a hot nerdy girl for you so what is this week's hot nerdy girl of the week jelly bean you sexy bitch come on did you who didn't think that was gonna happen so yeah enjoy these images and whatnots of Jelly bean. So hot. Ooh, Android boners all around. Well, all right, guys, that concludes Friday's show. I appreciate you clicking in as always. Please subscribe to the Android Spin channel for this weekly shows. I'm hopefully going to be doing a whole other segments of stuff and, you know, I just need more time. Please hit that like, thumbs up button, show love with a like, like I always say. Check down links below for all the social media you can follow me and add me to, as well as follow Android Spin and all that fun stuff. Well, all right, guys, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been the Mandroid Show. You know, you're sexy now, but I still do not like jelly beans, okay? Okay? I like your OS, but I don't like the way you taste. Well, where are you going? Jeez, can't take a joke, I swear. <laughs>